Hey, I'm back. So we've now talked about two classes of stars. So just to summarize here, we had the brown dwarf. And so an example of a brown dwarf would have been Jupiter. And eventually it cools off and it's going to turn into the black dwarf. Okay, then we had the red dwarf which did ignite and but eventually it's going to run out of hydrogen and it turns into exactly the same thing that the brown dwarf did. So now we want to go with an even bigger star. So these are going to be between 40 percent up to eight times the mass of the Sun and obviously the Sun has a mass of one so the Sun is a member of this group of objects. So they are going to ignite and they are going to convert hydrogen into helium. Now our Sun is bigger than one of these things. So when our Sun starts to run out of hydrogen the core is going to collapse because when you start running out of fuel gravity is always there. So gravity wants to pull it in. So once the Sun begins to run out of hydrogen, the core is going to consist of helium. Okay. Now, as it collapses, the pressure goes up, the temperature goes up, and if the temperature can get up to 100 million Kelvin, then the helium will be converted into carbon. Okay, so that the core of this object is going to get smaller, but the outer part, okay, that's going to be the radiative zone and the convective zone, is going to expand. And that is going to become a red giant. And so when our sun becomes a red giant, it will extend all the way to the orbit of the Earth. And so the Earth is going to become uninhabitable long before that. But at that point, it's definitely going to be uninhabitable. So don't, don't worry about the, um, the density of a red giant, but you should know that it's going to extend to the orbit of the Earth. Now, eventually, though, our sun is going to start to run out of helium because it's converting the helium into carbon. So when our Sun runs out of helium, the core is going to begin to collapse. The temperature is going to go up. Now the next temperature that it's got to get up to is 500 million Kelvin. Don't worry about that number. But if it could, then carbon would be converted into the next one which is going to be neon. So carbon would be converted into neon at that temperature. But our Sun can't do that. So our Sun will never make neon. So what's going to happen is that the outer part, the red giant part, will be ejected into outer space as a planetary nebula. Okay, and then the core part is going to be a white dwarf. The middle part, the original core, is going to be a white dwarf. It's going to start to cool off and eventually it turns into a black dwarf. Okay, so to summarize here, uh, let's just say a, you know, how, how do we do this? All right, so medium star is going to first turn into a white dwarf, which then turns into a black dwarf, like that. And then that, plan, uh, that planetary nebula thing just floats off into outer space. Okay, any questions? I, I can't hear you. All right, so I'm just so used to saying that in class. Sorry about that. Okay, let's take a break, and uh, when we come back, let's talk about bigger stars.